Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, let us see the stack implementation using pointers. In this C++ program, we are going to create a class and a constructor to initialize the top variable with a member function push and pop. Uh, this uh, stack implementation, we are using uh, pointers and structures. Uh, if you want uh, a stack implementation using arrays, the link is given in the description. So let us move on to pointers and structures first. So first let, let us look into the concept of pointers. Pointer is a variable that holds the address. So let us see x is a variable that holds a value 10. Basically what happens internally is it's x will hold a memory address location. So uh, in the memory location 101, the value 10 will be stored. So this memory location will be stored in a lookup table of AX. So when you retrieve a value of AX, it searches in the table where it has to take the original value. It sees 101. So it searches where the location 101. From there it fetches the value 10 and displays. So what happens when you declare a pointer? Let us see first how we have to declare a pointer. So pointer variable is declared by this way. That is asterisk y. This is pointer variable which can hold address. Ampersand x is a address of x address of x what is the address of x 1001 this address will be stored in y so y is a variable which holds address so when you print y it directly prints the memory location value 1001 when when you print star y its value of y the value of y is 10 so it immediately prints the value. This is the purpose of pointers. So let us move on to the next concept, uh, structures. Structure is a collection of different data types. So here in our stack program, uh, we are going to insert an element. That element, that node, we will say as node. In that node, we will have a data and address. This address will be pointing to the previous node. Okay. If it is a new node, the stack is empty, you are going to create a new node. Then the node you are going to create will have data and the address will be null. If it is a second node, the address will be pointing to the previous node. Let us see how we have to declare a structure for stack. So, struct is a keyword here. Node is a structure name. Uh, here, uh, data we had declared uh, as in type. And uh, address, uh, address is a link. Uh, a link we had uh, given as a node type. That is pointer type. So, a top is a variable which, ha which will have link and uh, data. So, let us see. How you are going to insert an element into the stack? Already we said if there is a, if stack is empty, the node which you have created is your top node. Or else, if there is an element or nodes in the stack, what happens? You are going to create a node. First, you have to create a node and make this top pointer to move to a new node. So, and make this address to point the previous node. So, three things has to happen. First, you are going to create a node and then make the address of this new node to point the previous node and move the top pointer to new node. So, these are the three things you have to perform. The node which you are going to uh, create as 60, 
the address is pointing to 56 that is previous node then you have to move your top pointer to 60 that is top node so when you are going to uh, insert an another element create a node data and address then make the address to point the previous node then move your top to the topmost node so this is how we are going to insert an element into the stack next we are going to pop an element how you are going to pop an element is simple uh, you have to um, uh, remove this uh, topmost element for that uh, uh, move the top pointer to previous node and then remove the first node so for removing this 60 uh, move the top pointer to previous node and remove the uh, node 60 so for removing uh, uh, the last element make this top to null and remove this uh, first item so this is the operation for pop so let us see what happens uh, while coding so uh, here we are going to create a node after creating your node you are going to insert the data and address to null if it is a new node new uh, element uh, that is stack is empty your top pointer must point to p that is newly created node so if already there is an element this newly created uh, address has to move to sorry the top has been moved to address of p then top pointer is moved to new node so your uh, new node address has to point top that is previous node and then top is moved to top is moved to new node so next we are going to see pop operation for this pop operation uh, if top is empty there is no element in the stack so if top points to uh, some address what you are going to do is you are going to create a temporary node make the temporary node to point to the top t and top has to point to the same node then move the top pointer to previous node like this now there is no link exist between 60 and 70 so easily you can remove this node remove t so this is the operation you are going to perform for deletion make t and top to point the same node then move the top pointer to the previous node delete the temporary node so see here temporary node should point to the top node top node will point to the previous node then delete the temporary node so this is the operation to be performed on pop so let us see this in a code as we seen uh, i had given the null to zero then created a structure with a, for the variable top and then initialize the value to zero after that a push operation for push you, you have to follow three steps you have to create a node and accept the data and address to z zero that is null after that if there is new no element in the stack what you created is a new node then top pointer will be no moved to new node if not your new node link will be moved to previous node then make the top pointer to new node so this is the steps to be followed in push and in the pop just create a variable and uh, 
point the top and move the top pointer to previous node and remove the top uh, that is T. So for displaying the value you have to create a temporary node from top node you can move till null to display the values. Let us implement everything in your main functions. You had created the object obj1 uh, for the class stack. Then I displayed the menu push pop and display exit. So if you want to enter uh, an element the user has to give 1, 2 for pop and 3 for display and 4 for exit. So let us see how this program uh, works. So now it displays the implementation of stack using pointers and it displays a menu. Now I am going to insert an element. Okay, now I am going to insert in another element 56 and another element 89. Yes, now I am going to display all the values. It displays 89, 56 and 23. So now I am going to pop in another element. Now it removes 89 which is the top element. Now I display the display a stack 56 and 23. Yes, it displays correctly. Now I will pop 56, pop 23, pop stack is empty. 3. No, no items in the stack. So let us exit. Hope you understood the stack implementation. Please post your questions in comments. Bye.